getting in the match of stocks, stocks immediately scores. scores. Sorry, Sorry about that. that. I think I may have been live for a few seconds, but I wasn't quite <laughs> sure. But starting, starting right, right off with like goal is stocks. Up past Cade. 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 Back, Back on, on the kickoff right, right away. Early, early goal. goal. Just, just gonna float up in the air. Now Golden's gonna go after it. Yeah, yeah, that definitely is the AQ way of starting off a game. Within the first 15 seconds, if AQ hasn't scored a goal, they're usually not feeling themselves. But third week in Nace, they're looking to pick up their third win, their third sweep here. A looking for a shot, couldn't quite get to it. Now Wildcard's gonna go up the wall. Just gonna ride down with the stocks challenging them. Not the Golden, actually. Wildcard looking a little out of position, expecting to get that corner boost there. Now completely starved, rushing all the way back, leaving Roadrunner to be the only one up here making some touches. Wildcard tries to challenge, but it just goes back in his own corner, and I'm ever going to go up. Completely whiffs on it, and I'll see if nobody on it is actually there. Stocks are just going to go back. Maverick wins the challenge, though, so it's going to go down front, bump. Maverick, Maverick looking, looking for, for the bumps, bumps actually, actually threw out his teammate. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Road, Road, Road not Roadrunner. Road he threw out Wildcard. Wild but, but Roadrunner, Road Runner, thankfully there for uh, for, these for these guys, for the Eagles, to clean, clean it up and send, send that right post. post. Central Methodist ties it up 1-1 one, one one now. now. Looking at the kickoff. Well, that's going to be a really high, high kickoff. Doc's going to take it up the wall, gets demoed, but it gets cleared out. And either way, Maverick's just going to pass it to the other side. Cade whiffs on it, now Stocks going to go up. Float it up off the backboard, nobody's back yet for Methodist. Stocks taking it just a little bit too wide, that demo opening up all availability. And Cold Zone pushing it all the way up to the top crossbar. It's just muscling it into the net. And, and, and muscles indeed. You guys need to check out Central Methodist Rosses. These guys are built. Are built. They, they look mean mugging. They, they are here for a serious game, and AQ is going to be bringing it to them. Another, Another demo, demo off the kickoff. Kick Gold's on there. Wild, wild card just let, let it drop down, down the Roadrunner. Try to clear it, clear it out, but Cade needs them. Knocks, knocks it down, down past the Stocks, stocks and Stocks knocks, knocks it in. It in. Stocks waiting really close up within, within the Eagles box here. here. Kind, kind of looked like he would, would be out of, out of position, position, but his connection with Corey there, with Cade there, just being able to see that pass, knowing he can snipe it right down to the front of his car, and he can just cram it on in. Just, just act, act, it's, it's a really, really good communication, really good chemistry. When, when in a normal game, game being that close, close up would leave you in a really, really bad position. position. Stocks, Stocks added insurance, insurance for Aquinas, Aquinas to look to add more. Now, now yeah, 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 it says Roadrunner clearing, clearing it out. Now, wild card. Getting, getting it over Stocks. Stocks. Now, Cade okay, racing back is going to save it, but Maverick's going to be there, but Goldzone with a good clear out to the corner. Yeah, light touch from Cade. Goldzone definitely needing to bail him out. And, and we, we saw, saw a little bit before uh, Central, Central Methodist were, were getting a little, little bit of demos, demos on Aquinas. And as, as you have seen in the past games, Aquinas is a very demo-heavy demo heavy team. And, and if, if they, they get responded back with demos on, on them, them, I'm not quite, quite sure how they will handle, handle with it. it. I mean, Aquinas is very heavily rotation-based. If they get that cut off, they might get a little tripped up. Hold on with a flip. Paid. To the corner Maverick, Maverick it's gonna go out to mid, mid stocks, stocks going, going after it. it. Pass, Pass over to Cade, Cade. Well, off, off in the corner, corner now. now. Puts it a little, little bit more. Probably a lot more left, left than he wanted. wanted. Could, have Could have had gold zone, zone uh, you, know, you know, cheating up, up on the left, left side of the field, field maybe going for a three man passing play instead of that two man, but he don't need it as stocks comes in out of nowhere, sniping the bottom right. Perfect play from Aquinas. Cade with another assist, racking up the assists this game. Puts Aquinas up 4-1 to one now, now, just, just over halftime. Half or just, or just after, after halftime, I should say. And, and I don't think that would be abnormal to say Cade getting, getting a majority of the assists. assists. I, if, if, if I had to choose two of these guys to be the strikers of the team, I really, I really would put it on gold zone and stocks. Cade is just always there setting it up. Aquinas, that didn't look pretty. They double committed, but... For the, for the Eagles, Eagles. They, they had, had nobody, nobody back. Wildcard wild and Roadrunner Road both too close to each other, so nobody's in the net, and it just slowly bounces into the goal. Yeah, Wildcard was put in a very difficult situation there. He saw the ball start floating up, and he saw Aquinas leaping in on it. 
he could have either stayed back on his goal line and tried to predict where the shot was going to go. He had no idea Aquinas was going to shoot it so soft and that he would have actually had time to save it. It was just, you know, kind of luck of the draw what Aquinas was going to do with that ball. And just another chuck onto the net, boost over ball, Roadrunner left out on the road, ran over. Yeah, like Benzing just said, boost over ball, you can't do that. Leaves the net wide open and Stocks just gets an easy goal on that. Six to one for the Saints now. Yeah, Central Methodist, they're really going to need to change something up. Maybe start communicating more. I mean, we have no way of listening to these guys' comms, but it just seems like very simple mistakes that are getting punished. They're not playing bad at all. They are quick, they are aggressive, they are on the ball. Aquinas just outpacing them. Now Cade going to take it up. Stocks trying to get it off, off of Maverick. Roadrunner is going to clear it out now. Gold zone going up for it off the corner. Now Roadrunner just whiffs. But Maverick's going to be there onto the net, but Cade with a stop. Now Stocks with a, a really shot. powerful shot just in. And you know what that means. I'm pretty sure it's going to become one of our favorite countries just because of AQ showing it to us over and oh. over again. The Brazil. We look game for it every one. game, but let's see if anything more happens. We may finish with it. We may not. We'll see. Onto the kickoff gold zone. It's favorable, favorable for the Eagles. Now Roadrunner just going to float it up. Now Cade's going to go up. That was a really good passing play from Central Methodist. Had they had their third man on that ball to just absolutely bang it down the midfield, but not being able to clear it out, they're going to leave it open for Stocks to jump on this. An absolute banger, too. 74 miles an hour. That's not a slow ball. Not at all. 8-1 for Aquinas. Stock says bye-bye to the Brazil, and they just keep adding on the goals. Yeah, really, really setting the bar high here in game one. I mean, if, if anything, they're either going to keep up this pace into game two, or it's going to be Central Methodist taking a little bit of a breather trying to, you know, work on their mentality, work on their gameplay, just try to figure out what they need to do to be stopping Aquinas here. Otherwise, this is going to be a huge steamroll and a possible sweep just by the outcome of game one here. Dropping down for Roadrunner to float it up. Gold Zone couldn't quite get the touch, but Stocks was up. Now Gold Zone's going to go after it. Boom it downfield over towards Stocks. Stocks going to wait for it. Look, Might have gotten a little touch. Yeah, that was like an incredible attempt for a redirect, had he gotten it, I probably would have lost my marbles there. I haven't even owned marbles since I was probably like eight years old, but I still would have gone out, got more, just to lose it. Now with the second left, we'll see what happens. Here downfield, Roadrunner up, but it's down and it hits the floor and Aquinas takes game one, eight to one. And it says Spartans, I'm not quite sure if Central Methodist thought we were the Spartans or what's up with that. But either way, the Saints will take game one, eight to one. All right, and I'm going to step on out to ready up the next game. Take a look at the stats here. Aquinas with 13 shots on goal. With eight goals, that's a good percentage of shot to goal ratio. Assists-wise, seven. Seven of the eight goals assisted. Again, just like against Concordia the other day. Not really any solo plays. All but one of them were off of an assist. As we load into game two, we'll see if Aquinas keeps the pressure up coming off of a steamroll of a first game. Yeah, no, about that whole Spartans thing, I mean, we got that whole Saints roll, Spartans roll. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, you know what I'm saying? Stoxy's going to be going up for this one, dropping it right to Roadrunner. Goldzone with a pretty good clear out. Now Stox redirect towards the goal. It's floating up a Cade. Just barely missing it off the crossbar. Had it dropped down maybe a few more inches, it would have been smushed right on in. Takes a great challenge though and wins it. Now Gold Zone's gonna get it over Maverick into the corner, but Roadrunner, not a good clear out. Cade looking for it. Now Gold Zone just gonna go right over it. So Stock's gonna take the shot. Roadrunner's up for the stop. Now Maverick. And these guys keep putting the ball in a very dangerous position. Cade coming in and bumping Stocks. Stocks didn't look like he had the angle or the power, but still, it's the principle of the double commit there. Dropping down. Wildcard misses it. Nobody was there, though, so Roadrunner's going to 
not be able to clear it out, actually. Cade keeps it in. Now Stock's coming in, doesn't find it. Gold zone. It's high up, gonna roll straight down. This ball Nothing. has been in the danger zone for so long. If it doesn't result in a goal, Stock's accidentally getting the save. Oh no! Now a shot and wild card will save that. We'll, we're gonna have to see at the end of this game how many shots and saves there are. This is insane. Now Maverick whiffs. Now wild card, another pass straight up. Stocks is gonna come in with a soft shot. Maverick's there, straight up. Now Gold Zone gonna go up. Probably doesn't have enough boost for it. This has felt like a full minute and a half of offensive pressure, and it's starting to look like Central Methodist is finally going to get a break, and they're going to be on the offense, and hopefully Aquinas does not get scored on here. To have that much offensive pressure and then to eventually just get scored on yourself has got to be a huge letdown. This is going to be a breakaway roadrunner chasing down the ball before Gold Zone could even get to it. Now Gold Zone's going to go after himself, challenged by Maverick. Maverick wins it, it's floating up. Actually, that's good for Aquinas because Cade's able to clear it out. Roadrunner with a redirect over towards the wall. Going to float down. Wildcard wins that challenge. That's going to be pinched out, thankfully, just wide. Cade, he's going to be looking to take this off the wall. Maybe looking for a double tap if he could have kept it up or had the boost. And now again, the ball in a very dangerous area just floating above the box. Stocks missing the clear there. Maverick's going to take a high shot going up. That's going to roll straight down if it's not stopped and Stocks is able to get it out. That's going to be a quick turn from Maverick, almost getting a goal, and almost put away by a by a wild card there. Now Maverick keeping the pressure on. This game has just been insane pressure from both teams. Now Central Methodist getting it, wild card trying to keep it in. Gold Zone with a soft clear out, Roadrunner's going to go after it. Yeah, by this time in game one, I mean, in total, I'm pretty sure goal or five goals had been scored. And now three minutes in, not a break in anyone's defense. Everyone just getting all of these saves, putting these shots on net. Just a high octane gameplay here. Now Roadrunner gonna take a shot, it's floating up. Stocks is able to save it last second. Almost puts it in himself as you saw it bounce off the far post. Gold Zone making a midfield pass cut off by Roadrunner. Anyone there to follow it up? No, Gold Zone's gonna be doinking it away here. A whiff for Maverick, now Stocks off the back wall. Another double commit from Aquinas. They've got to clean that up if they want to try and get a goal in the net this game. Roadrunner's just going to follow up. Bump Taking his own his teammate, so now and Gold Zone. This could potentially open up a really good counterattack from Aquinas. Cade just barely missing it. Passes That's the mid Gold for Zone! Gold Zone. And finally, we get a break in the 0-0. Aquinas scores first here in Game 2. Stocks with the demo over to Gold Zone in the middle of the net, and finally... Aquinas gets their goal after all that pressure from both teams. A minute 20 left in game two. They need to play either as defensively as they have the first half of this game, or they need to secure another goal quick because Central Method is definitely picking up the heat here, definitely making some changes that they needed to. It's coming back down, wild card. Maverick's actually going to get the touch, but it bounces off of wild card. Wild card whiffs. Now Roadrunner going to take it. Cade with a good challenge. Maverick. With a miss, Stocks coming up after it. Roadrunner's gonna tap it into his own. Now that turns into a pass to Cade, but Cade off the post. Now Gold Zone. You can't be missing those shots. You have to sink them in the net. Opportunities like that don't come by way or don't come by too often. I, I think Central Method has tried to go for a demo on Cade there to clear up the goal, but he may have missed. Stocks now pass over to Gold Zone. Roadrunner, I believe, is there to stop it. Maverick, he's going to be making a midfield pass all the way to uh, Roadrunner. Very hard to remember all these guys' names when we can't see the very bottom of it. He's Gold trying to go off the soft redirect, and he gets the goal. Oh my goodness. I did not think that had a chance to go in. Stocks passes it off the ceiling in just a soft touch. Only 42 miles an hour, but it's just enough on just a perfect angle. Gets the insurance with 19 seconds left. Yeah, just completely all the way from the right side of their box to the left side of the net. If Central Methodist wants to take game two here, if they do not want to be at match point, they seriously need to put the pedal to the metal and make a goal here. Cade whiffs, but Gold Zone's going to be there in four seconds left. And with two seconds left, one second, that's not going to be able to... <laughs> it's just not going to be enough time for them. I'm just fumbling all over my words with excitement for the... Just for how well Aquinas is playing here. It's truly insane. For Aquinas, 12 shots on goal that game. That's more than they had in the pre... Or no, actually, 
about the same as the previous game. But this one, they only get two of those in the net for the Eagles. Four saves. That's a lot less than I thought it was. I guess a lot of those just hit the back, hit the backboard and went away, but insane. Both goals were assisted by Stocks. More team play from Aquinas and you got to hand it to Central Methodist. They got stomped in game one, but they came out and they did not let Aquinas get that goal. No matter what happened, they bumped them around. They made saves when they needed to, but Aquinas fought back and won 2-0. And now they put the Eagles on match point into game three. Maverick going to go up for it. Softly floating down. He touches it or pops it out, actually. Now stocks. If Aquinas is able to pull off a clean sweep here with a uh, almost getting a deadly shot there, but if they're able to pull off clean or clean sweep here, they are going to be on their third one in a row, and uh, possibly after this game, they could be the only one in our pool. Oh, hate to see it. Not sure what happened on the rotation for the Saints. Everybody caught up right there. Nobody's back, and Roadrunner. Yeah, clustering up like that, it, it's really going to kill you, and it's a very easy way for uh, for the opponents to just punish you, get the ball into your net. But as I was saying, if they get the sweep here, they're going to need to get two goals automatically to do that. But, I mean, if they get that, they potentially could be the only ones in this pool to be running a uh, nine-game win streak. Now, Cade. Nine match. He taps out to his own corner, takes the challenge. Floating up Mavericks too far forward. Cade gets demoed on it. That Gold demo zone. could have been bad had they started playing the ball towards the net instead of into the corner. This is going to be a pass from Stocks to oh Gold Zone. Oh, my to, goodness. Or, uh, from Gold Zone to Stocks to Gold Zone. Ah! Just crazy. Gold Zone to Stocks. Stocks to Gold Zone. Gold Zone to the net. Maverick misses. Aquinas ties it up. For all of you who are probably like, man, this boy could not speak. I am giving up caffeine for the most part for Lent. And boy, <laughs> it is making my job difficult here. That's going to be Kate just, you know, taking advantage of Gold Zone, getting that demo on Maverick. You'll see it time and time and again. If Aquinas is coming at you for a demo, you need to avoid that. Because more often than not, all of these demos are going to result into a goal. And just like that, the Saints are up up by one now. Kickoff goes up. Wildcard wins the challenge. Roadrunner going in. It's off the corner. Flies way back. Gold zone. Just going to pop it up for stocks, but Maverick's going to send it downfield. Very difficult area to take a 50 in and win it against stocks. He just had to buy time for gold zone and Kate to get into a more comfortable position. And his gold zone doesn't have any boost here. He's going to try to be as helpful as he can, but it's not going to be very. Stocks is going to take it up himself. Look for a flip reset. Couldn't hit it. Now Maverick's going to get it out. Would have been an absolute banger of a shot. And just a, a, a complete insult, a slap to the face to say, like, hey, guys, I mean, I know we've taken the first two games, but look what else we can do. Had he scored a flip reset on them in this environment, it would have been incredible. Hold with a shot, but Wildcard's there to stop it. Now going back up for his own rebound. It's going to come back down Maverick. Stocks wins the challenge off the corner. Roadrunner coming in to clear it out. Cade sitting, waiting. Soft shot would have been wide, but Maverick's there to pop it out. Stocks up. Stocks looking to follow Look. it. Getting another <laughs> flipper set. Not really able to do anything with that flip. And Gold Zone putting it top shelf. 3-1 already. Half of the game. Gold Zone just sitting, waiting. Perfect pass from Kate backwards. Gold Zone puts it at the very top of the net, middle. Aquinas gets their insurance at halftime. Yeah, that was an absolute bullet, an absolute snipe. You would have had to use so much momentum and boost just to get to the top of your goal to save that in time. Gold Zone going to send it off. Cade. Gonna go up. Central Method just hesitated on it, so Aquinas is able to keep it in. Gold Zone going up for it. Looking for a really difficult angle. Maybe could have played that off the corner and, you know, resulted in a better pass to the mid of the field. 
but I don't blame him for trying to take that angle. I've seen him do it before, and it feels so good when you hit a shot like that. Broner is going to take it, but Goldzone just blows right through him. And <laughs> Kate blows through on the wild field. card. Yeah, let's turn this into a 2v1 real quick. That, that'll that definitely put some pressure on Central Methodist. Cade going up for it. The shot's going to be a little bit wide. Oh, almost gets the double tap. Making me almost jump out of my chair how close that double tap was. Thought he had it. Now stocks, stocks for a double tap. Looking for another one, too. They just can't sink it. Gold zone turning back around. Gets bumped by a wild card, but it's just floating there. Roadrunner. Stocks going to beat him to it, though. And over towards Maverick. Maverick's going to clear it out. Going up for himself. We're nearing on on only a minute left in the game. Central Methodist, they were able to find one goal already. They need to find another one real soon here. Wildcard with a good challenge. Gets out a little bit. Stocks able to keep it in. Going to go out for himself. Put it under him. Flicks it all the way to the corner as he sees no teammates are up here to be able to pass to you. He has no shot on the two defenders in net. Stocks with a pass towards mid. A little bit dangerous. Luckily, he was right now. Gold zone's going to redirect it a little bit wide. Had the power, just not the accuracy. Just a few feet off from the net. Cade going to look for a flip reset. Makes him out a little bit, and it just turns into a pass for Gold Zone, who puts it in the net. I saw a little bit of contact there. I'm not sure if that flip bumped someone. Oh, it may have maybe thrown Maverick off. Not too sure. That's something I'd have to look at in, in slow-mo, but... If anything, still pretty neato looking. We'll call it a fake, and we'll call it three goals up on CMU here. With 30 seconds, it doesn't look like Central Method is going to be able to come back from this. Yeah, Aquinas really feeling themselves today. And I... I'm just incredibly impressed with how well Central Methodist has been able to turn around the score from game one. You know, being able to pull one up on Aquinas here uh, and just read their style of play. But as the clock ticks down here, Stocks, he's going to look. See if one goes for the road. It's going to go out towards the front of the net. It's going to drop and hit the ground. And Aqu the Aquinas Saints will take the match 3-0 on a clean sweep against Central Methodist. Yeah, Aquinas really paving their way through NACE this semester. Not a single dropped game yet. Just absolutely incredible work. And it just goes to show, like, I, I can't stress this enough. It was very, I, I don't know how I felt coming in this semester with the roster change that we had. But every week, they just keep proving me over and over how solid of a choice it is and how just how beneficial Gold Zone is to the team as you see him top scoring there. Aquinas had another 13 shots just putting it on, and I noticed Central Methods has six saves, increasing their saves throughout the match. And like Benzing had mentioned, just a great adjustment from them. Coming out of game one, it was 8-1. They come back, turns into 2-0, and then I that was 4-1, I believe, right? 4-1 in game three? In game three. Yeah, it was. All right, with that... Thank you for tuning in and join us on Saturday at, I believe, 11? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. for Gleck, and we'll see you there.